what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome to the second episode of the bike restoration of the 2001 honda cbr 600 now if you guys missed the last episode i'll go ahead and put in the cards above but basically all we did was give the bike a wash and drain out the old gas that has been sitting there for years and years and uh in this episode we're going to be replacing the battery which we already took out the old battery we're just going to be putting the new one in as well as doing an oil change and uh, putting some new gas in and hopefully getting the first ever start on the bike so this is pretty much everything we're going to be eating for today we went ahead and got some mobile tenda b40 motorcycle oil as well as a mobile oil filter we went ahead and got this motorcycle battery from walmart and we also have a gallon of premium gas as well as our oil funnel and uh we're gonna need a 12 mil to take off the oil bolt oh and i also had to go ahead and buy this low profile oil pan since the one i had would not fit under the bike and even then it wouldn't fit because the tires i don't know if you can see but the tires are deflated on this bike so i even had to put it up on some wood and then with that it barely fits under so we should be good if all goes well today we should be able to get the first star on the bike which would be really exciting so let's go ahead and get started with the oil change all right so we've drained the main oil now we're going to get to the oil filter which is right there um Kind of in a weird spot because when you pull it out it's probably going to drip over all of those exhaust pipes so i mean we'll see how it goes All right guys, oil change is done. And the way to check on this bike, if it's at a good level, is there's actually a little window right here. Um, I don't know if you can see, but basically if the bike is upright, you can see that the oil kind of, I don't know if you can see, but the oil is right in the middle because there's a little glass window and you see the oil that's halfway and that's the point you want it to be at. Um, I don't know if that's how it is on all bikes, but yeah, it's a pretty cool, neat feature. All right, so now we're gonna be putting in this new battery. We already went ahead and took out the old battery right here. And it's just basically connecting power, ground, simple. You know how to do a battery. Let's, let's do it. All right, guys, battery is secured and a good sign is that this clock just turned on so that means it's working good that means there's no electrical issues which is great and now the only thing left to do is put some gas in and hopefully get the first start well guys gas is in oil is in batteries in everything's in now I'm gonna set you guys down on the ground behind the exhaust and hopefully get this first cold start in over five years. Hopefully the exhaust sounds good. Hopefully everything is working perfectly. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and find out. Well guys, as you saw there, the bike is not starting up. Now, let me go ahead and show you how it looks like. So the bike turns on, you see the screen's all on right there, it's in neutral. Also from this screen, I'm able to finally see how many miles it has, and it has 23,000 miles, which is not that bad actually. Well guys, unfortunately we did not get the first cold start today, but we tried our best. We got a new oil release, we got a new battery, 
we have gas, fresh gas in the bike now. So now we just have to move on to the next step and find out what's wrong with it. So it's weird because it's lighting up, but it's not. Once I try to turn it on, it just clicks and nothing happens. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try to figure that out. And hopefully in the next video, we'll fix that problem. And we'll just keep going and keep going until we finally get the bike started. But nonetheless, I want to thank you guys for watching. And please leave a like and comment down below if you have any tips for me on how to fix it. And please subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. We're almost to a thousand subscribers. We're like 50 subscribers away. So if we can reach that soon, that'd be pretty awesome. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.